What's up guys? Welcome to Eye on the County, a very special edition. Uh, today joining me is Miss Kathy Glass. She is the Libertarian candidate for Texas State Governor. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank Glad you. you could make it. Uh, we're, we're doing a little bit different of a forum here today. We've got a bit of a live studio audience. Uh, they're going to be asking some questions of Miss Glass, and we're all going to try and figure out where her stance is on several of the key issues that face us today. Let's do it. All right. Um, now, my question is, um, what is your stance on, like, Obamacare? Like, do you think that it's good for Texas citizens to, to uh, partake in the universal health care? No, it's not. It's unconstitutional. The federal government has no right or authority to regulate health care. You can mandate that someone purchase a product, I believe, in individual liberty. People should be able to make that decision for themselves. And in Texas, we should nullify that. You know, other states have, have taken steps to resist unconstitutional federal acts through nullification. Uh, Texas has not. So the Texas governor can enforce the Constitution. Only I will. That's what's up. Yeah, um, I believe we have a question coming up real quick. All right, if you just want to take a seat on the couch. You want my question? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Take a seat right here. Where I could hear, but I will sit over here. What, what, what do you think is about the possibility, say, 5, 25 years from now, rather than Obamacare, they'll be calling it Robamacare for Romney because it was Massachusetts and a Republican uh, governor that first instituted the, the, the broad framework that uh, we now have nationwide, it's called Obama for the care. Well, I hope in 25 years we won't call it anything because it won't exist and no one will remember it. I wanted to restore Texas sovereignty to make these decisions for ourselves, to nullify unconstitutional federal acts. We should do this. So I want it to be a thing of the past, maybe, maybe study it in history books to show what we don't need to do ever again. But that's, we need to take charge of our own destiny, make decisions for ourselves here in Texas as individuals and as a state, as a sovereign state that we are. Am I, am I getting it right? Your answer to my question about what they're going to be calling it in 25 years is that, well, we're going to take care of it in that time and it won't be, so we won't have that problem. We're not going to enforce it in Texas, so we can call it a failure. We can call it a quits. We can call it whatever you want to. Right it can be a thing of the past. Not just that, but everything like it. Every time that the federal government has come into Texas and started making decisions for us and telling us what we're going to do, we're going to call that ancient history. So as a, if, can you put yourself in the, in the uh, position of a poor person? And, and I, I know that's probably impossible because if you're not poor, it's hard to realize. But anyway, uh, for, the, for the state to turn down $4 billion a year, you think that's in the state of Texas' best interest, and I will say in the preponderance of the Texas voters, who uh, more than half of them have less than $55,000 annual income? I don't have to put myself in this place of a poor person. Nature put me in that place when I was born. I was the first person in my family to go to college. I worked my way through college and law school. I came to Texas on 7 7 of 77 from my native Georgia, but I know what it's like a blue collar worker. I know what it's like to live in a two bedroom, one bathroom house with no air conditioning. So I think I know what people want, and people like me want an advantage. Uh, ability to uh, improve themselves and to progress through life, which I have done through a free market system and through liberty. I want to maintain that, to preserve what the advantages I had that allowed me to get to where I am today so that other generations can have that too. Sound like you're saying you did it yourself and you expect everybody else to do it yourself. I expect us to have a system where people can do it themselves. But there is opportunity where people are allowed to make decisions for themselves and accept the consequences. Good or bad. Right, yeah. Dr. Jim, I believe you had a question. You want to take a seat, sir? Sure. <clears throat>